Fortnite versus Fortnite 2. As we know it now, the Fortnite storyline has pretty much been all over the place. We've seen just about everything there is you could come up with, including rocket launches, mysterious cubes, blizzards, volcanic eruptions, and we're about to witness a massive battle between a sea monster and a giant robot. So yeah, like I've said, we've seen just about everything there is to see. So with that said, how long is it going to be until the Fortnite storyline comes to a close? Well, with the new rumors of Fortnite 2 now on the horizon and secretly in development, more and more people are thinking that sooner rather than later, we are actually going to see the announcement of Fortnite 2 completely out of the blue, and if and when that time comes, the world that we currently know within Fortnite Battle Royale could be on its way to the history books, as Fortnite 2 looks to take the cake as the new biggest video game in the entire world. With it would come a brand new map to play on, a brand new storyline to follow, and of course a ton of secrets to uncover as well, which leaves fans surprisingly excited for the next installment in the world of Fortnite. So today we're taking a look at the end of Fortnite Battle Royale and Fortnite 2 and talking about which is going to come first and which is more than likely going to be the biggest game in the entire world come a few years from now. So, as I mentioned, Fortnite Battle Royale has pretty much been non-stop entertaining since the day it was released. Back in Season 1, things were simple, we had a pretty basic map with a decent variety of weapons and pretty much at the time, the game didn't need a whole lot else as it was a brand new Battle Royale experience that no one had ever tried out before. And of course, it had the very unique element of building as well, which immediately attracted a ton of players because Fortnite's gameplay was truly a different experience from the other Battle Royale games out at that time, like H1Z1 and Player Unknown's Battlegrounds or PUBG as it's better known. So Season 1 was there, it was relatively successful, and it was pretty basic. Then Season 2 came along and it added in some upgrades, like the Battle Pass for instance, and a few overall changes to the gameplay. And more and more people were downloading the game and trying it out. Once again though, the game was still pretty simple as it was still relatively new, and not much was needed to be done to attract attention since the gameplay itself was so unique. But then we got Season 3, which is when things really started to spike. It was the first time when Fortnite was reaching new heights in terms of player counts and even viewer counts on sites like Twitch and here on YouTube. And with so much popularity came a brand new idea, an idea to tell a story in a multiplayer environment. And that is exactly what Epic Games and the Fortnite team decided to do. They initially kicked things off by adding in a little glowing orb into the sky, which players didn't really think all that much of, at least at first. But then, as it started to get closer and closer to the island, players thought, hmm, you know, maybe something is up after all. Maybe this is not just some kind of graphical error or texture glitch. And it was soon discovered that this glowing orb was actually a meteor and that it was in fact getting closer and closer to the atmosphere. And thus, with the launch of Season 4, we saw the meteor come and crash down right into the island, destroying a handful of areas on the map, for instance Dusty Depot, and really sparking the phenomenon that is the Fortnite storyline. And from here on out, things only got wilder and wilder. A few weeks into the season, we saw that trucks were collecting the new hop rocks and delivering them to a location outside of Snobby Shores, and we saw even later that a mysterious pod that had crashed onto the island was opened and the Blockbuster skin or the Visitor emerged from it. The Visitor would then travel to the rocket launch site or the evil villain layer as it was known on the mountain besides Snobby Shores, and from there the Visitor launched the rocket with the intent of destroying the Fortnite Islands, or at the very least Tilted Towers. But to everyone's surprise, the rocket never managed to reach its targets and it was mysteriously teleported or rifted away from the island and into oblivion through a massive portal in the sky. Now at this time, this was the first ever major one-time event in Fortnite history and it reached millions upon millions of eyes, be it in the form of in-game players, live streams, or even videos covering the event. And this is also when Fortnite really became a very serious competitor in the industry. It was made very clear that Epic Games was taking Fortnite Battle Royale to new heights, and that would be displayed all throughout the upcoming seasons as well. Season 5 brought forth the Enforcer who was actually the one who saved the island from the rocket by rifting it away. However, all actions do have consequences, and because of that massive rift in the sky, we saw lightning come down and strike the island which spawned in Kevin the Cube, who would roll all around the map and do a little dance as he dipped into Loot Lake, 
spawning the floating cube island, which would then combust before our very eyes. We then also saw the iceberg collide with the island and bring forth the Ice King and also the prisoner, who would then end up escaping and summoning the volcano, which would later erupt in the unvaulting event and destroy Retail Row and Tilted Towers. Which of course all brings us up to today, where we are currently on our very updated map, and we are about to witness a giant robot fight against a massive sea beast in the battle for the ages. But what exactly is going to come next? You know, where exactly do we go from here? Honestly, I really do feel like we're running out of storyline options that can actually tie into the overall and overarching plotline that has been developing over six seasons now. So when exactly does it all end? Well, a lot of people are saying with season 10 and a lot of people are saying with Fortnite 2, which exactly though is going to happen first. I'm honestly going to assume the latter. With season 10 now only a few weeks away, it seems unlikely to me at least that Fortnite 2 would be announced and then released before season 10 would come to an end in roughly three months from now, unless it is literally going to be a massive surprise release, in which case I'm sure the game would be massively popular right away, but I also figure the same could be said if the game was revealed a few months in advance, like what we normally see with larger games like Call of Duty, Red Dead Redemption, GTA, etc, etc. So what do I think the end of Fortnite is going to be? Honestly, Fortnite 2, but even then, I feel like if Fortnite 2 is what we all expect it to be, it's probably going to feel more like a DLC to Fortnite 1 more than anything else, as I'd expect Fortnite 2 to continue the Battle Royale world of Fortnite, but just with a different story and a different map with various weapons and items on it. And while Fortnite 1 might still be going strong at the time, and you know it's got Save the World and Creative and all that stuff as well, I feel like if and when Fortnite 2 releases, the storyline progression at the very least within Fortnite 1 is going to start to wind down, since as we have discussed all throughout this video so far, we've seen just about everything there is to see, at least within this one world. But starting a fresh new universe in Fortnite 2 does give Epic Games and the Fortnite team an endless amount of possibilities when it comes to what kind of contents they could bring to the game and also what kind of story they could tell too. Perhaps even further on down the road, once Fortnite 2 has released and, you know, been active and ongoing for a little while, we could even see these storylines intertwine in some way, shape, or form that makes it somehow apparent that one game is a sequel or even a prequel to the other. What I am essentially getting at here is that I do think that Fortnite 2 is real and that Fortnite 2 is coming, at least in my own opinion. Maybe in a few months, maybe in a year, maybe even further on down the road than that. But when it does come, it could very well be the end of Fortnite 1 as we know it. As far as what is in store for things like Save the World and Creative and whatnot, I would say Fortnite 2 is probably only going to expand on everything we do already have established right here and right now. And with that, perhaps the game could soar even higher than Fortnite has so far, since it would be a much more polished product when it does inevitably release. You know, obviously Fortnite released in early access, it technically still is in early access, of course though they do that to get around certain loopholes and whatnot, but if and when Fortnite 2 does come around, I would assume it's going to release as a much more full and finished game, you know, they're going to have all this experience already built up, and they could put all of that towards Fortnite 2. Perhaps technically even Fortnite 2 won't actually be called Fortnite 2, Maybe Fortnite 2 is just going to be the official release of Fortnite that we have now, just out of its early access form. Honestly, nobody really knows as of right now outside of those very few select employees at Epic Games, but I do have a feeling that sooner rather than later, someone is going to say something they shouldn't to the public and leaks are just going to start flying out left and right. With all of that being said though, I think that is effectively going to wrap things up for today. Definitely drop us a comment down below letting us know what you think is going to happen first. Will Fortnite 1 officially come to an end, well at least the storyline aspect of it, or will Fortnite 2 release and bring a brand new story into the Fortnite universe? Let us know your thoughts down below. Of course, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to drop a like on it, give it a big old thumbs up as it would be much appreciated. And if you are brand new here to the Simply Fortnite channel, feel free to subscribe with your post notifications turned on. That way you'll always know when a new video goes live. As always, by joining the notification squad, every single time we post a new video here on the channel, YouTube will actually send you a message letting you know we've gone live. That way you can be the first person to watch, like, and comment on each and every new video. Once again, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and we'll see you guys on the Battle Bus. Peace out.